addition it, Might and Magic, Rob, you and I are huge Might and Magic fans. We know everything about it. Uh, yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we actually don't. Uh, explanation here. This came up on my list during my Bonanza. I really enjoyed it. Told Rob about it over the phone. Could not figure out how to describe the gameplay. So the biggest difference between you and me right now on this is <clears throat> that I use a uh, mouse and keyboard. You're using a controller, which I think may actually be better for you because I felt like I was clicking poorly sometimes because I wasn't like fine-tuned on where the mouse was. Okay. So uh, I would say just hit campaign. You can skip all the story stuff, you know, and because uh, the story was not important as I far as I could tell. <laughs> Alrighty. It's all about the gameplay. And it is funny that uh, we just finished recording Trademarks, which was a game about Skittles, and now we're playing a game that the acronym is m and M. Right. <laughs> so this is you. You're Anwin for the first portion of the campaign. Those tiles are how you travel. You're an elf lady. Okay. I think the art is very nice looking. Yes. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Godric? Oh, yeah, you can talk to them if they've got those question marks in front of them. But the one that you just went to was more important. Right. The other ones just say stuff. He has a lit question mark. Does that matter? Yeah, I don't know if that's the graphic because there's a light behind it. Oh, there is just a light behind yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. I didn't notice that before, though. That's why we play video games. Yeah, right? <laughs> So, I don't know about you, Rob, but I got to this scene and I said, is this Chrono Trigger? Right. <laughs> Where's the disturbance? There's one. Is that it? Oh no, a flower pot. <laughs> So yeah, now it'll explain to you how to fight. So yeah, now they charge up for an attack. And they're going to attack directly in front of them. So I thought this game was hard, even though I really liked it, because I was always wanting to make more moves than you get. Oh, to I got make you. Each turn. So just a simple tutorial battle. Mm -hmm. the, the mechanics are super simplistic uh, once you've done them all, but it's just, I don't know. I thought this was a cool game. And it's also nice for a dishing it game. We're actually dishing out some damage. We usually don't do that on these. Right. We're usually <laughs> just trying to get through it. Right. Oh, camp is under attack. Do I have to run back to camp? Yeah. You got a few more tutorial fights here. 
as they open up more of the Flea. game to you. Yeah, so columns that match our offensive. Oh, I have to. And then rows are defensive. Yeah, so in other words, each turn your wall is there, they get a little stronger. But only when you're playing as the elf. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, and so you saw there was, uh, you were able to get four spaces on that one. Right. All right. That seems pretty straightforward. Yeah, there will be more mechanics still that they're going to show you, but. That is, like, what you've done is the thing you're going to do most frequently. You got him. Right there. Victory! <laughs> All right, this is pretty cool. Right? Yeah, just yeah. a different way of playing something, you know? And yeah, you'll notice those units go up a level and the hero does as well. All right, here we go. It's go time. So you don't lose that move. Okay, here we go. Well, you might be taking them out in one turn. Yep. Overkill. <laughs> That's something I felt like this game lacked. You should have got some sort of bonus something for overkills. Right. So far, so good. Savagely. Great. <laughs> skip, skip. Yep. 
It was funny when I was done with this and I read reviews, people were saying, eh, the story's not bad. And I'm thinking, hey, it's just, I don't need it right. for this, you know? Right. You just can keep going. Skip. You're fighting me. He's right there. <laughs> Luca, go save your father. Come on, it can't be that bad. <clears throat> Come on. <laughs> Okay. Really don't need any of this. Yep. <laughs> really don't need any of this stuff. Okay. There will be less of it. It's heavy right now. Great. Perfect. Yep. <laughs> So each of those are various campaigns when you switch who you're playing as. Right. Oh, maybe the heroes on the title screen? Yep. <laughs> Great. That fairy just inserted herself into you. Right? <laughs> So now you have a new unit type. You've got fairies. Oh. Nope, I forgot you can't swap. Yep. <laughs> I'm I've done that quite a number of times when I was playing this. I won. You didn't even have to use the fairies. <laughs> right? I won. I'm good. Because I think what they were supposed to show you on here is that the fairies take two turns to charge up their attack. Oh. But I think they hit harder. Um. Oh, I was going to just tell you what they were. Got it. Yep. <laughs> they say there's no limit, but there's a limit. You only get so many moves. Huh? You did exactly what I did. Go down to the log? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I just, I do like the water cutter, color look to this, you know? Yeah. Uh... And that's the thing, too. Like, I confused. I'm so unaware of what Might and Magic is that I was surprised when I saw this on my list. And then when I went to play it, I realized I confused this with Magic the Gathering. Oh. Which is another thing I have no knowledge of. So anybody out there who's watching this and is a Might and Magic fan, I don't know how well this lines up with whatever that's about. Ooh, bears. You got bears. So that gives you the elf's three primary unit types. So quick thing about this. Um, I think there's a bug in this game. I think if you, yeah. 
So because it's the only thing in there, it's equipped. But I find that when it asks you if you want to equip things, it doesn't actually change it. Really? Yeah. Oh no! That was fast. <laughs> So bears take even longer to uh, charge. But again, they do even more damage. And they can take a lot more damage for you. Yeah, you were stuck there. You couldn't get an extra one out yet. I'll get there. Oh, yeah. can stack walls too if that's what you were thinking about like that now they do have a cap walls right. so if you do that against the cap one it just makes another row of wall oh okay yeah because I don't remember them telling you that four damage not bad they haven't told you about reinforcements yet I thought that happened no soon. they did oh did they okay Oh, right. You're just starting, so you don't have very many to begin with. All right. And I was trying to think, like, what kind of game this is. I mean, obviously, it's a strategy game, and it's got RPG elements, but... My bears. <laughs> there's just something about this, and puzzle elements. There's just something about this that feels like... It's almost like an auto-battler without the auto part. Right. I can see that. Nice, you took out all of his attack on you. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's like... Oh, he's got a link attack, Yeah, he too. just linked. But you know what? You're going to take those out. I mean, they, they absorbed all that damage, but... It was still to your advantage. What were you going to say? Uh, I feel like this... Oh, I could do this. Like, it's not like a tit-for-tat strategy like a Fire Emblem, Advanced Wars, etc. Right. I mean, it. it's it's clearly like a Match 3-inspired game. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, like maybe these guys said, let's do Puzzle Quest, but different. Right. But I do like the system that they're setting up. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, because right now you're just dealing with basic units. You're going to have special units that you have to make much harder choices about. Oh, right. You haven't done a spell yet.
I did it. <laughs> now, here's the funny thing. I told you about uh, the disappointment I had in that weird Dungeons & Dragons football game. Yeah. I actually feel like this would have the better mechanics for what they were trying to do. Really? Yeah. Oh, you get your first special unit. Sure. Snowman? No, it's rain, dear. Brian! <laughs> I think that's a joke from uh, Muppet Family Christmas. <laughs> So yeah, those deer are pretty awesome because of that jump they've got. Yeah, so that's the choice. That's one of the two choices part, which is if you remove them, you lose them. And you have to then spend money to buy them back. Because I think you got five. So do... Do they just appear or do I have to use them? So if you were to remove one of them or they fell in a battle, the number available to you for the next battle would be decreased from like five to four. <coughs> and so you would just want to try and avoid that happening as well as uh, making sure you have money to replenish them if you need to. Okay. Unlike your normal guys who you can remove ad infinitum, you know. Okay. And that's where you buy deer. At the deer store. Right. <laughs> so, actually, uh, this was, the t we finished the tutorial. So, I say let's stop here and uh, do the... There's something in the log. Yes, there is. And we'll find out on another episode. Excellent. See you guys.